and welcome to our lesson on solving two-step equations using the balanced method. So we have the equation 6x plus 2 is equal to 26. The 6x plus 2 goes on the left-hand side of our scale, and the 26 goes on the right-hand side. And as we solve this equation, we're going to find a single value for x, and we're going to keep the scale balanced. We do this by applying the same operation to both sides of the scale. So we want to move the positive 2 over to the right hand side of our scale. We do this by taking away 2, because 2 take away 2 will make 0, which means we are left with 6x is equal to 26 take away 2, which is 24. And 6x means 6 multiplied by x. So we'll do the opposite of times, which is divide, and it's divided by 6. We'll do the same to both sides to keep it balanced. The 6 divided by 6 will cancel to make 1. So we're left with 24 divided by 6, which is 4. So x is equal to 4. We can check this works by substituting the 4 back into the equation. We have 6 times 4 plus 2, 24 plus 2 does make 26. So x is equal to 4. OK, let's try question B. For question B, 21 is on the left hand side of our scale, and the 5t minus 4 is on the left hand side, and the equal is at the pivot point. So we're going to be left with t on its own. To do this, we need to move the negative 4 to the left hand side by adding 4 to both sides. 4 take away 4 will cancel to make 0. So we're left with 21 out of 4, which is 25, is equal to 5t. And this means 5 multiplied by t. So we'll do the opposite of times 5, which is divide 5. We'll do it to both sides, so it's balanced. 5 divided by 5 will cancel. So we're left with t is equal to 5. Let's check it works. 5 times t, which is 5 minus 4. 25 minus 4 does make 21. So t is equal to 5. OK, let's try question c. For question c, we have r over 4 minus 7 is equal to 3. We're going to move the negative 7 to the right hand side of the scale by adding 7 to both sides. 7 take away 7 will cancel, so we're left with r over 4 will equal 10. And r over 4 means r divided by 4 will do the opposite of divide, which is multiply by 4, and we'll do this to both sides. So this will cancel. So we're left with r is equal to 40. And we'll check that this works by substituting the 40 back into the equation. 40 divided by 4 take away 7. 10 take away 7 does equal 3. So r is equal to 40. OK, let's try question D. For question D, we have 6 on the left hand side and 10 plus m divided by 7 on the right hand side. So the first thing we're going to do is move this 10 to the left hand side, and this is a positive 10, so we'll take away 10 from both sides. So we have 6 take away 10, which is negative 4, is equal to m divided by 7. The opposite of divide by 7 is times by 7, so we'll do this to both sides. 7 divided by 7 will cancel to make 1. So m is equal to negative 4 times 7. m is equal to negative 28. Let's check it works. We have 10 plus negative 28 divided by 7. The order of operations mean we'll do refraction bit first. Negative 28 divided by 7 is negative 4. So we have 10 take away the 4. And that does make 6. So m 
is equal to negative 28. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to pause the video and try and solve the equations of A, B and C? And you can resume the video when you're ready. Okay, for question A, we have 4y minus 5 is equal to 15. We can add 5 to both sides. The needs will cancel. So we have 4y is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 4. So y will equal 5. For question B, we have 6 plus f divided by 3 is equal to 5. We'll take away the 6 from both sides. The needs will cancel to make 0. So now we have f divided by 3 is equal to negative 11. We'll multiply both sides by 3. The needs will cancel. So now we have f is equal to negative 33. And finally for question C, 10 plus 2x is equal to 4. We'll take away the 10 from both sides. The needs will cancel. 2x will equal negative 6. Divide both sides by 2. So x will equal negative 3. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.